On today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, we are reviewing the Beta FPV Pavo 20 Pro. Are you having a case of deja vu? Yeah, me too. Ah, not really though. We have done this before. This is not your brain playing tricks on you. We have reviewed the Beta FPV Pavo 20 Pro in the past. We reviewed this guy right here, the Pavo 20 Pro with the DJI 03 air unit. Since the release of the DJI 04 Air Unit Pro and 04 Air Unit, Beta FPV has come out with a version of the Pavo 20 Pro that is compatible with the DJI 04 Air Unit Pro. And that's really what we're taking a look at today. This one's going to be a little bit tricky, but bear with me, hang with me, and let's go on this journey together. Let's talk drones. What's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. Like I said, this is going to be sort of a tricky video because I'm here to talk about the Beta FPV Pavo 20 Pro. Both of these are the same aircraft. The difference between them, though, is the onboard BTX. They're both HD drones using the DJI Air Units. This one, the 03 Air Unit, and this one, the 04 Air Unit Pro. And that's really the difference between them. That's the only difference between them. So I don't want to make this about the difference between the O3 Air Unit and the O4 Air Unit Pro. That's not what this video is about. We're just going to do a very quick glance at this guy. Talk about the drone itself. Talk about how it handles. You sort of already know that if you checked out my review of the Pavo 20 Pro. And if not, you can go ahead and find that video up in the corner of this video. Go ahead and click that link if you'd like to watch it. You already sort of know where I stand if you've watched that video on this guy. But if this is your first time seeing me and first time seeing me talk about the Pavo 20 Pro, consider this your second chance opportunity to learn a little bit more about this drone. Again, I'm not going to get quite into the detail that I did with this particular guy in that video that I made for him because we're just sort of revisiting the aircraft. But you'll at least get to see some updated footage with the O4 Air Unit Pro and you'll get to hear a quick version of my review of the Beta FPV Pavo 20 Pro. So let's jump into it. So first and foremost, just talking about the aircraft, the Pavo 20 Pro by Beta FPV, fantastic little Cinewoop. I love this drone. It has plenty of power for its size and class. It handles the wind fairly well considering it is a whoop drone and typically whoop drones don't do well in the wind because they are basically big kites with all this surface area here they catch a lot of breeze when they're flying so if you have a strong enough wind these don't fly real well typically but this handles more than i expected it to be able to handle and quite frankly with all of the power that is behind this drone this is a fun little drone to freestyle with now i don't do it all the time because really the strength of this drone is the small format it is under 250 50 grams it does have encased non-lacerating propellers and if you apply a remote id unit like the one that i have here from drone tag the drone tag bs this is oop compliant it is considered a category one drone so it is oop compliant so it's a really advantageous little tool that way when i'm flying here in the united states and i want to fly over uh, a public event a concert a gathering whatever the case may be i am totally compliant when flying the pavo 20 pro by beta fpv so that's really how i use this but every once in a while when i go out i like to rip it around and see what it can do power loops aileron rolls you name it i just do as much as i can you'll get to see a little bit of that here on the footage that i'm going to share with you i'm gonna just leave it at that for the aircraft it is a solid little aircraft and i endorse it full heartily what i really like about it too before i do actually let this rest is i do enjoy where is my adapter i don't know where it's at here it is found it so i do enjoy the fact that you can use this usb to jst conversion connector to plug into the back of the pavo 20 pro and then you can configure it however you want to configure it in beta flight it is a pre-built drone from beta fpv but it is absolutely configurable in beta flight so if you're somebody that has experience flying fpv you are familiar with beta flight you like to use beta flight when configuring your drones you are not pigeonholed to what this offers out of the box you can configure this to do just about anything you want it to do all in all really really like the pavo 20 pro We'll leave it at that there. Let's talk a little bit about the O4 Air Unit Pro. Now, I'm not, again, going to make this a review on DJI's product. That's not what this is. But I will say the difference 
from the 03 Air Unit to the 04 Air Unit Pro has been absolutely noticeable. The 03 Air Unit is still a very viable option. So if you have a bunch of 03 Air Units, and of course, we're having issues at the ports of entry for products like those made by DJI, especially DJI having Customs and Border Patrol turn shipments from DJI away. If you're having trouble actually getting an 04 air unit, don't feel like you are missing out because the 03 air unit is still uber, uber capable, especially if you know your way around a camera. You can set those settings up to get really crisp and clean and beautiful imagery out of that air unit. However, if you were fortunate enough to grab an 04 air unit pro, or if you're in a country that isn't giving DJI the same kind of trouble that the United States is right now, definitely consider upgrading to the 04 Air Unit Pro if you haven't already because again the difference in imagery is extremely noticeable. I'm not comparing the two in this video purely because again I don't want to get down that rabbit hole and make this about DJI but this has actually been a very welcomed upgrade. And before I get to the footage where I show you what I collected with the Pavo 20 Pro during my test flights with the 04 Air Unit Pro on board, if you do find yourself in a position where you have an 04 Air Unit Pro, but you don't have the ability to purchase a Pavo 20 Pro with an 04 Air Unit on board already, or you don't have the ability to purchase this frame that has this housing for the BTX and the camera for the 04 Air Unit Pro, all is not lost. For the longest time after I purchased the 04 Air Unit Pro, I swapped the 03 Air Unit off of my original Pavo 20 Pro, and I just printed myself a housing that could adapt to the 04 Air Unit Pro. You can find STLs if you've got a 3D printer online for this particular file all over the place. Sorry all over the place. Um, I don't have a link to this file. In fact, I didn't even think to save it, so I apologize in advance, but I will do my best to either include this link or find a very similar housing and include the link down below in the description of this video. But the point is, if you have this drone and you don't wanna spend the money to purchase the Pavo 20 Pro with the DJI 04 Air Unit Pro on board already, and you don't want to just go out and purchase the airframe, or you can't don't have the ability to, whatever the case may be, you are not lost. You can certainly print and adapt your own housing to the Pavo 20 Pro. That's why I love FPV drones, is because they truly are as configurable as your imagination will allow them to be. Uh, and I mean that quite literally. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do with drones like this compared to your Air 3S's, your Mini 4 Pros, your Mavic 3's, your Mavic fours, etc. Like I said, guys, this video is sort of a tricky one to do because I've already done a full review on the Pavo 20 Pro with the O3 air unit. I've got this guy here and I took him out and I flew him and the, the flight experience is identical. So if you're looking for details on the flight experience, go check out that video that I linked at the beginning of this video. I've also got that link down below in the description of this video. So you can find that multiple ways. But if you just wanna see some of the great footage and some of the high quality footage that I was able to collect during my test flights of the Pavo 20 Pro with the 04 Air Unit Pro on board, here it is, enjoy.
Nothing fancy, guys. Nothing out of this world. I know. I understand. I just want to take a moment before I wrap the video up to just sort of share with you. I have been extremely busy lately, and I'm getting back on the content horse, and I'm trying to do my best to filter content in as I can, but bear with me. We are over 10,000 subscribers, and that is not lost on me. I really appreciate that, and more content is coming down the pipeline. I promise you that. I've got some potentially exciting things coming down the pipeline, potentially. And uh, should those fall into place, you will obviously find some really exciting content here in the very near future. So I apologize for the lack of content streaming in lately. I'll have another video coming up here relatively quickly explaining why I haven't been making a lot of the content that I usually do. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up icon down below. It helps me out a lot. It helps get this video out into the algorithm to more viewers like yourself. If you really like this video, you love drone content shot by drones, about drones, and for drone pilots, well, my friend, this is the channel for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and while you're at it hit that bell icon you'll get a notification every time i post a new video until next time i'm chris the drone geek and i'm out of here see ya yo yo what you say steady screaming yo